something different tonight. I know that it's probably loud. I need to probably be loud. The generator is right out there, out on the deck where the picnic tables are. We are on the back deck that I fixed all up. And, um, oh, I got a cramp in my toe and it was, my toe was pulling. Stretch it. Um, so we have turned this into our sleeping porch. So I'm gonna flip the camera real quick. Here we sit at some little place called Rush because every gas station, okay, the one across the street from the house was down the road sitting just all the way down like miles yes at least a mile okay so then they ran out of gas at around the same time i guess as the valero opened because yesterday the valero was locked up tight now they're open and the cars are once again they're just moved in a different direction and still for miles so we drove to dayton because when I was at Tina's this morning and I was able to get internet and I looked up the energy where outages were, Dayton was lit up green. And Tina said, well, you better hurry because everybody in Atascacita is going to go straight down 1960 to Dayton for gas. We're in Dayton. We've been in Dayton for two hours. Friends, we have no patience. We don't. We drove. We thought, okay, well, let's just say that there is another little place called Moss Hill that has a really big gas station. Like, it's not a Bucky's, but it's, it might be a Stucky's. It's a very big, and according to Bennett, he called, he called and told Tina that they had gas. So, if you're in Liberty, you can keep going straight and you end up in Dayton. I mean, if you're in Dayton, you go straight, you end up in Liberty. And then you can turn and keep going that way so many miles and you end up in Moss Hill. And from Moss Hill, you keep going and you end up in Cleveland. So, I thought, okay, well, we'll just go to Moss Hill and get gas. But Levi, back here, thinks he has to have something to eat. And Daddy said he would really like a hamburger. And I'm starving. And Mom's starving. She tried to set out this morning to get a burger, but Dad nearly ran her over. Do you want to tell the story? Oh, it was horrible. I might start crying. You're not going to cry, but you can't tell them how bad you hurt right now. You can't, hurt. Be a, you can't cry because there's a woman that said we were just going to cry because we were having a hurricane. <laughs> I hurt. I was, we were going to go set out and get a hamburger. I think the, can you see it? Because I feel like I'm, they can see me. Okay, go ahead. Hi. Are you that? Love. Yeah, you got to come down here. Oh, okay, go. So, uh, we were going in the van. Papa was driving. I put my little dog in the back and shut the door. But then she kept barking at me because she wanted to be up front. And she didn't know how to walk this far, evidently, in the car. So, I said, just a minute, honey. So, I get out and I open the back door. And I reach in to get my dog, and the car starts rolling backwards. And I'm saying, Jane, Jane, and it just keeps rolling backwards. And by that time, the front door caught, caught me and pulled me. Oh, my gosh. I fell on my elbow, my hip, this, this hand, this thumb. Do you think he was trying to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it hurt. I hurt. And I was, and it was on the concrete. And I, I felt like my elbow shattered. But Kim said it's not shattered because it still has a point. Yes. <laughs> it's still bony. so it's Oh, shattered. and Papa felt, so, he kept apologizing. And I was screaming, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it made me, it, 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 I hurt so bad and I couldn't get up. So I said, would you hand me the pillow out of the back of the car? Because we always keep a pillow and a, and a blanket for Lex. So he hands me the pillow. Well, you know, when I'm down, I have to roll over onto my knees. So I did, and that hurt my knees so bad. Oh, because your knees are on the cement. 
Yeah, so I had to put one on the pillow, and then he gave me the dog bed, and I put one on the dog bed and was able to pull myself up in the van, but I, I was crying bad because I hurt, and I still hurt. But now I feel like every time I move, I'm hurting really bad, not in my hip, but on that upper, what's that called, the thigh, yeah. So you're, you're gonna be bruised and you're gonna be sore. Yeah. So she had an ordeal and she needs a burger too. So we drove through Dayton and we seen these big places like were just packed full of cars and mile and I don't know about miles but lined up down the sides of the road and I said all right well let's just go on through to Liberty and I said it we'll get food and we'll get gas in Liberty and we just won't come back this way because when we got off of 99 and turned on to 1960 the line of cars was you couldn't see an end you coming mm -mm. Tina was correct when she said everybody from Atascacita I don't know if that was all Atascacita mm -hmm. people but that's the direction because they were it's coming only not that far from Atascacita to Bait to Dayton. Yeah, to Dayton about 12 minutes. And, that's all, yeah. Yeah, about 12 mm -hmm. minute drive from Atascacita to Dayton on 1960. And the line was forever. And we took, we were on 99, so we'd come off and we could see it going. I was like, well, praise God, we're in front of all those people. But we got here and there were so many cars and it's all sitting and they, it looks like a wrecking yard because they're all sitting different angles and ways and they're trying to get in and there's all down the streets. So I'm just like, let's just go on into Liberty. Liberty is dead. They have no power. <laughs> Nothing's open. We turned around by Whataburger. He starts freaking we out. We screaming for food. We passed the Whataburger. And we're trying to tell him it has no electricity. Anyway, we are finally, well, we're number three in this line to get gas at this little place. And we're praying that they have gas when we pull up. Because so many gases here in Dayton already are, are empty. They yeah. got the there, bags over there. There's so many places. And I told mom, I said, they need to put, like, take their price tags down, their sign down, t unlight it. It's all lit up. It says, you know, three something a gallon. Take that off. Make it so look like you don't, because you pull in. We pulled in, and then they, instead of white bags, they were black bags. To me, they looked like the handles, and then every, when you got close, you could see them blowing. So it's like you don't even know they don't have gas. You pull in off the street. You get out of the traffic. You might as well stay where you were because these people have no gas. So you end up driving all around trying to get back in the traffic. We're moving up. Okay, see y'all in a minute. All right, so that door is locked. I know that anybody could just break in there if they wanted to. It's just a screen door. Uh, the lights that you see through there are the back lights to Buddy and Steph's garage. Those are the solar lights. They're not real, real bright. Um, Levi is down there on his um, old uh, memory foam mattress. And... Minky is right out there, sleeping on the picnic table. Jensen and Honey are down here with her, with him. I do not fear um, anybody coming up. Tony is right here. His doors are open um, for get for air to come in there. Oh, Minky's right there. Oh, Chi is here too. <laughs> All right, let me let her in. Chi, Chia. Come on, baby. Chi Chi, come on. Honey, I can lock this and you'd have to break in. Right, that one's locked. The outdoor, the door inside the porch going out to the carport is locked. And my front door at the front of the house is locked. So there's gonna be racket with people trying to get in. And I think the dogs are probably gonna let me know every time some kind of sound is made. So right now the generator all day today um, was when we were running around me and mom looking for gas and stuff like that. The generator was running and it was, hold on, I'll go back to me. So the generator was running and it was um, charging the refrigerator in the house. I guess about an, I, it's hard keeping track with time with, with life like it is. It's like a roller coaster and you're just, you lose track. 
but I think it's been charging the back porch refrigerator um, for about two hours. I'm going to let it charge the back porch refrigerator until it runs out of gas. And uh, when it runs out of gas, then I will fuel it up and I will plug in the freezer in the house. The freezer's up in that corner. We don't, we haven't been opening it for any reason whatsoever. We haven't opened it. So it's holding its cold better than the other things because they're getting opened randomly. I mean, I have to get milk in the evenings for her. I had to open the freezer this morning to get sausage to make sausage, and, uh, sausage for breakfast. So they're randomly getting opened, but the freezer is not, has not been opened at all. And I've charged it well, it charged yesterday um, for a long time, actually. So, Daddy says he's been like charging his stuff, at, you know, two or three hours, and then unplugging and plugging something else in. So, mine are actually charging longer than that. I, I you know, I mean, I guess that means one is gone longer, but as long as it's not being opened, but you know, I still had ice in my ice, my big ice bin. Tony was trying to find ice and couldn't. I wish I had known that because when we got gas today in Dayton, they had ice at that place. But he says he went out here and couldn't find ice. When he got back and he said he couldn't find ice, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, Archie's was open and so was that Chevron in Splendor. That's the, Archie's is a little grocery store in Splendor. It's very small but it is a grocery store and it's been there for years. They have the best cuts of meat and I can tell you that. They have a real, well, I mean, I guess, I'm assuming that the meat markets, even in your big places, somebody's back there cutting that meat. But you can see him, you know, it's got a big glass thing and you can see him back there doing his job. Uh, or when they're, you know, when they're back there. Not just a man, I mean, I don't know, but I just know you can see the people back there working. Anyway, Oh, we got, got sidetracked. Um, I took my shampoo to the pool when it got dark. I took my shampoo to the pool, a towel to the pool. Um, and basically, I just bathed with shampoo. And um, then I come back on the porch, dry it off, powdered up, and put my nightgown on. So I'm fresh and clean. And then... Levi went out to the pool just a little bit ago. I told him, don't get in the pool with his shorts. Get him naked. And when he gets in, let me know. And when he was in the pool, I walked out and put some shampoo in his hands and told him to rub it all over his body. And dip down two or three times and get it off. And then um, he come walking back with a towel and his shorts. And Oh, I brought his shorts back so they wouldn't get wet. And I left him a towel. So he come walking back with a towel and he dried off. I powdered his chest and stuff. And he put his shorts on. And now he's down. And he's watching Lilo and Stitch on his tablet. Because it's a download. I had downloaded it when we were doing all that traveling. And there were places that we couldn't get signals. So I downloaded like four movies off of Prime. So he doesn't need signal for them. He can just watch them. It's like they're on the tablet. And so he's watching that and I brought out his DVD portable DVD player and I've got the Hobbit so I thought that'll keep me entertained because I've still we do still do not have internet um, I was able to do some stuff at Tina's this morning because she had you know her internet and then I was able to do a few things like check my banks you know like just check on things like my you know go online to my bank and just check different things um, while me and mom were out because we were getting signals like 4G and 5G. Anyway, it's, um, it's, it's been, it's been an ordeal, but it's been kind of, I don't want to say it's been fun, but we're not letting it get you, you know, when you don't let it get you down, it doesn't have to be horrible. The most horrible thing that's happened in this storm was the tree on Buddy and Steph's house. That is the most, you know, it's not a big deal to take a bath in the pool. 
You know, there's some people that say, well, I can't sleep without air conditioner. You know, Daniel won't go to bed without a hot shower and he won't go to bed without air conditioner. But I'm cool out here on this porch. Now that I'm not working and I'm not moving around and running around and doing here and doing, do, you know, once I got in that pool and I was settled for the night and I got out and I'm not sweating, I'm comfortable. You know, my nightgown's sort of blowing from the fan. I have the big fan that's the big outdoor fan. So, it's running off the generator. These lights are running off the generator. So, when it dies, it's going to get quiet and it's going to wake me up because I wake up at... It don't have to be nothing, which the generator's loud. So, but when it all goes dead, it's going to get quiet and it's going to get dark. <laughs> it's going to be dark. Um, yeah, I don't have any solar things. I mean, I've got solar things out there, but, you know, the solars look pretty, but they don't really put out light so you can see what you're doing. Um, anyway, it is, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, that's our night. We're roughing it on our sleeping porch. All right, love you guys. God bless y'all. Okay, I um, just realized how red I am. Look at my nose. Um, did clean up today. You can see out there in my yard, I've got that solar panel trying to charge the machine. We were able to get water today. Um, we got daddy's generator down here because the pigtail we call it a pigtail i don't know if that's the official word but it's the plug that goes into the generator and on the other end of it's just the plug and the line the cord the wire three wires out the end and you unhook your wiring from your pump and put them together white white black black ground to ground and um, you can run your well so got daddy's but the pigtail is only made the you know you can get the heads for different different generators um, evidently they're not universal because um, I pulled my old generator. I can't use my old generator for long term because I haven't had it fixed. Um, it's heavy. I can't well, I load it. It, fits, it hasn't been fixed to me. It's heavy. No, it's it's heavy. It's um, seventy five hundred starting. But it's it's a sixty five fifty or something like that. So it'll run my well. Or maybe it's fifty eight seventy five, and then some. It's a, you know that's your running, but you have a starting a starting watts, and it'll run the well. But I've never had the pigtail made for it, and uh, because honestly, we we have not had anything that would make us need to run our well for water through a generator. We've had those little rolling outages, how they do in the summertime sometimes, and you have maybe those occasional outages when there's a freeze that's a day. There's been nothing that said, oh, we gotta get out there and get that generator hooked to the well because we need water. Um, so we've had word that um, we will not be getting power till Sunday. That's their estimate of when we will get power here. We did um, a lot of stuff today. I did an, another mow today. I cleaned up my backyard. My backyard? Yeah, I cleaned up the backyard. Mm -hmm. And I mowed. Mm -hmm. And then I mowed Steph and Buddies again. And um, mm -hmm. I laid out some tarps. I, me and Buddy sort of fiddled with the well for a while till we got the well man out and then while we were waiting for him 
I opened up some tarps so they could lay out. They were like in, they were at I'm a Survivor, but they had been through the flood and stuff, and there was, you couldn't tell if they were gonna have holes in them or not. They were all folded up, but you could see maybe rats had been eating at the plastic. Anyway, I opened them up in the yard while Steph was with her mom and dad in the front yard. I opened those up in their backyard so Buddy could make sure there's nothing wrong with them to put them on the roof. And um, then as they cut the tree back and did different things with the tree, and I think they went ahead and took down that pecan tree too. Um, they so now pecan tree too. they took it down. I babied those pecan trees. Um, when they first started coming up, I was running over them because I just wanted an open, wide open field. And then I thought one day, you know what? Nanny planted these pecan trees and those two have come up on my watch by themselves from seeds. So I started letting them grow. And now that one had to be cut down. But anyway, they got all that done and I just mowed everything and um, tried to keep him happy, so. Did I'm going to get this video out to you. It's just a little bit of what's going on with us. We had a good night last night on the back porch. Until the gener the generator died at 3, 3 o'clock this morning. It needed gas. Okay, no big deal, right? I get up. I get my little flash, my little my lantern, and I step out on the yeah, back deck. I you done on me. Yes. And I unscrewed the lid. I put gas in it. Put the lid back on started it and it ran for about two minutes mm -mm. it ran for about two much minutes it no, died it, on me yeah it did die on me it ran for about 45 seconds and then it did this and i'm like what is going on with it and then it died and it's dark and you're sleepy and i'm just like oh my gosh so i went in the house and got that vitamin um because all i needed at that moment, well, that it was charging the refrigerator and it was giving us the fan. But at that moment, I was like, well, I, I can't use the vitamin to charge the refrigerator. So I brought the vitamin out and plugged it in to the fan. And so we had the fan back and I went back to sleep. And then this morning, I went down to mom and dad's and I was like, well, that will honda quit on me and blah 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 and dad goes well it's probably a carburetor you're gonna have to have it cleaned out or something i don't know when daniel we didn't know when daniel was gonna get back because they're staying the night so they're coming during the day which he had to go back to work today but they're coming and checking on things and doing things around the house and i guess the evening or before he went back to work he was coming and hanging out all day here and doing stuff but then he was going back to the lake because they had power and they could sleep in ac there he could take a shower and all that stuff so Daniel loves he loves camping and different things, but there's at some point he really don't like roughing it if he don't have to. Maybe like roughing it. No, he don't. But um, so I went out to get donuts for everybody at the little donut store across the street in the neighborhood, and when I was coming back. Jake was going into Breeze where the horses are, and I said, "Hey, how'd your night go?" I said, "Did y'all stay at a hotel?" And he said, "No, it was." And he, talked about something with the hotel so they were at home last night and I said well my little uh Honda quit on me and he goes what do you mean and I said I said it needed gas at three o'clock this morning I got up and put gas in it but then it just sputtered around and I said I finally just so I guess I it needs work again or something I said I can't believe it's been so good these last he goes are you sure you didn't turn the van off on the top and I said, I've never messed with any kind of vent on the top. He goes, it's on the no it's on the gas cap. And he said, if you're not careful when you're screwing the cap on, like if you use your whole hand, which I was probably because I was, you know, tightening it down, my palm against evidently rubbed across that vent that is either off or on. And I had turned it off. So I closed the vent and it wasn't getting, it wasn't vented. So it was dying on me. So I figured that out. So I got home, I looked and sure enough, it said off on the top and I opened it and then started cranks, it just cranks right, right up. It just runs on high. Okay, this. Anyway, that's our, our day, right? So we've got lots of water. We've got a bathtub full of water. I'm not going to use it for taking a bath. We're taking our baths in the pool. The pool is beautiful and clean. And I put a half a gallon 
of chlorinating liquid in it today because I'm not running my pump. So I have to keep it sort of chlorinated a little bit. So I put a half a gallon, did a whirlpool, but there's nothing really to whirlpool. Mm -hmm. It's clean, but I wanted to mix that in. So it's just like clean water. And so, and again, in a little while, we'll go out when it's dark because I'm, I'm getting in, then I'm stripping down mm -hmm. in the pool. And I don't want, to, I have to do it at dark because Tony has a roommate. I don't want nobody to catch, catch eyes. I don't want to catch anybody's eye. I'm just choking. Mm -hmm. But I am doing it at dark. Mm -hmm. And I took my bath and then he took his bath and we was all good to go. So we'll do the same thing tonight. Mm -hmm. When it gets dark, I'm fixing to go feed up right now. Um, mm -hmm. And that's how we're living right now. And I will keep putting out videos. But, you know, like, I don't know when you're going to get this one. Because I'll probably have to go to, like, I'm talking to you on a Wednesday evening. And I probably, normally you guys would get a Thursday morning video. If mm -hmm. I take this to Tina tonight, I mean tomorrow morning. Because I'd like to pick up a couple of grocery items. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing to be out of milk. And Katie and Casey need milk. So, items? yeah, what groceries? A few little things for us to have at home, and milk for the goats. We're out of weenies. You're out of weenies. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I will try to go to Tina's and upload this, so you might not get it bright and early, but you'll get it at some time tomorrow, and then maybe Saturday if you get another one, it'll be Saturday later. I don't know. Possibly we'll have power come Sunday, hopefully. I love you guys. God bless you. Um, I hope you guys that are, I hope y'all are doing better than us, but we're not doing all that bad. So praise God. I'm not crying. Or nobody's crying here. No. Are we crying? No. You say goodbye? Goodbye. You're not even looking at nobody. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.